Even now, when she mentions anyone from that group, I feel triggered and upset. When I attempted to address this issue years ago, she would become angry, telling me to get over it and insisting that they were her friends. She accused me of trying to be controlling, so I began to suppress my feelings without truly resolving them. Welcome to the 88% of you who have not subscribed and the 12.1% of you who have subscribed to the Hollid Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, my wife's shocking affair with her male friends. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and the smacking of the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Let's begin the journey. This is an excellent lesson about as a man, you must lead your relationship because if you don't, you will be led. What I want you to pay attention to is the don't be this guy concept and how his lack of putting his foot down and knowing when to walk away led him to becoming a world-class wimp to simp. Years ago, my wife had a group of male friends she would regularly spend time with. On one occasion, she had a S-word encounter with one of them and immediately informed me about it. Slap to the back of the head. Are you freaking kidding me? When you get married, hanging out with a group of single females as a man is just as unacceptable as a man who allows his wife to hang out with a group of single guys. Granted, there is room for rational leeway. However, this situation went far beyond it. There's a reason why some guys prefer their women to cut off their male friends and this guy is a classic and clear illustration of why. Obviously, she knew he was weak and that he would never leave. I suspect this because he was one of those guys who worshipped the ground she walked on or perhaps he was one of those happy wife, happy life guys. I was deeply upset, especially since the entire group was aware of what transpired. Oh my, you were deeply upset? Really? And you did nothing about it? Despite this, my wife still wanted to maintain her friendships with them, though she did make efforts to avoid situations where the particular individual involved would be present. Slap to the back of the head. Let me translate. You were deeply upset and you stood up to her by letting her have her way. I mean, after all, you probably bought into the whole don't be a man and display toxic masculinity by making it clear it was unacceptable and it stops now. I mean, heaven forbid, she shows disrespect and gaslights you by accusing you of getting your ego hurt because she wants to F around while you pay the bills. Now, he didn't say this, but after almost a thousand videos, you see the same patterns over and over. Eventually, you can read between the lines. Speaking of which, check out two of my other videos which had this guy seen before he married her, 
he probably would not be in this situation. At worst, he would have known what to do from the moment she confessed. The first video is, my girlfriend told me she wanted to cheat with other men and asked how I felt about it. The second video you should check out is, I caught my fiance cheating on me with her girlfriend, what do I do? You can search for those titles using the search box on my page and I'll make an effort to link them above and in the description. We continue. Even now, when she mentions anyone from that group, I feel triggered and upset. Geez, what are you? A millennial? Are you one of those guys who went to Berkeley, majored in gender studies, and has a man bun or something? When I attempted to address this issue years ago, she would become angry, telling me to get over it and insisting that they were her friends. She accused me of trying to be controlling. So I began suppressing my feelings without truly resolving them. Slap to the back of the head. The solution was to immediately see a divorce lawyer to plan your exit strategy to minimize how badly the state and the family court system would grape you. Newsflash, this woman doesn't love you. She never did. And I suspect the only reason she is with you is you are a classic beta provider. I found myself questioning whether I'm overreacting by still experiencing pain and becoming upset even after a decade has passed. Is it unreasonable for me to continue feeling this way after all this time? <sighs> Guys, can you see how damaged and broken this guy is? The fact he even has to ask this question tells you all you need to know. Now, I'm not a therapist. And this is just me making life observations from my life experience. However, what I'm seeing here is a man who needs professional help to deal with his unresolved trauma and deep-seated resentment. He's not fully processed or healed from the emotional impact of his wife's infidelity. Instead of confronting and working through his feelings, he has suppressed them leading to lingering emotional pain. This also leads me to wonder if he's experiencing symptoms of PTSD as a result of his long-standing emotional abuse, plus the events of her infidelity. He should have kicked her ass to the curb immediately after he found out, but he didn't. I suspect if you do a deep dive into his life, he either married his emotionally abusive mother, or he's the son of a single mom, or was one of those guys who was always easy prey for the first woman who gave him any attention. So what have we learned here? Well, one, when a woman says that most of her friends are guys and that she gets along better with guys than girls, you should end it immediately. Are there women who relate and to and understand men better than women? Yes. How do you win at Russian roulette? Easy. You don't play that game. Two. He failed to stand up to her and make clear male friends were not acceptable. Instead, she challenged him and disrespected him to his face and said, deal with it. She should have been served divorce papers as soon as the attorney could get them ready. Three, how many of you guys believe that she hasn't been having casual S word fun 
with more than one male friend in that group on an ongoing basis. Come on, raise your hand. Yes, you in the back, looking around to see what the other guys are doing. Stop it, stop being a bitch and take a stand. Raise your hand or not. Four, total lack of respect on her part. Once she knew he was too weak to do anything, she began to punish him emotionally for showing weakness. You know what is really sad, guys. Too many women in the West and First World nations see it as weakness when you treat them with compassion. Not all women, but enough for many of you guys to understand what I'm talking about. So if what I'm saying has no basis in truth, then why do we have a saying, nice guys finished last? How many of you have been beaten out by the guy who was an a-hole? But there are so many women that would argue what I'm saying isn't true. Women say they want a nice guy. However, when you pay attention to what they do, their actions say differently as a group. Too many of us support such behaviors by our simping and white knighting. No, my brother, you are not overreacting. As a matter of fact, you need serious therapy because I say this with love in my heart for you, brother. You have lost your way. In the comments section below, list any other lessons that I've missed or this situation teaches and give support to this brother as well. If you are the 74.3% of men who found value in my channel and the 25.7% of women, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from this channel. This includes the one friend that to totally relate to what happened to this guy. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my locals Rumble, Twitter, Getter, or Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. If you can't wait for my next new video, then click on one of these right now and watch another. Until next time.